Hello there, neighborinos. We got a few <clears throat> good-sized pieces of news on the docket tonight. As always, you can find the links and descriptions of everything I'm going to tell you in the description down below, as well as all the original sources I'll be using. First thing is, <clears throat> sorry, the PlayStation 5 dev kit and controller have been leaked. Now, I'm sure you've seen a few a few pictures of a prototype controller or the the console floating around Twitter. So the the controller, as I'm sure you've seen by now, has a touchscreen pad right there in the center, where the PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller has a, a regular black or blue or whatever controller color you have. The the DualShock 4 has a touchpad in the middle, and the DualShock 5 picture has <clears throat> has a little bit is a little bit bulkier and has by the looks of the picture at least a blue touchpad. Now, whether or not that'll interact directly with us as a little bit more useful than the current touchpad does, that's up in the air. And once again, what I'm telling you is simply a rumor. But in, <clears throat> sorry, that really bad throat. Anyway, what we're seeing does line up with some patent that Sony Interactive Entertainment has in fact filed for earlier this year, likely in order to work on their prototypes for the DualShock 5. Next up, News about the big three console makers, PlayStation, Microsoft, Microsoft Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch. Each of them have an investigation going on through the UK, uh, what's it called? The UK Competition and Markets Authority. They've announced today that they're launching an investigation into whether the auto into whether the contracts that they make with their consumers, namely us video game players, are in fact fair. The two biggest things that it mentions in the article are in fact auto renewal for online services such as PlayStation Plus or Xbox Game Pass. E each of those policies as well as whether or not the refund or return policies in their digital stores are enough. Now this is coming after play after Sony's PlayStation line has just released news that they will update their re refund policy. Uh, what we what we do know so far is that the investigation is taking place but there is nothing to suggest that they will find anything. But if there is change, if they, they do find any problems, then those issues will likely cascade around the world, not just in the UK or the EU. So the entire system, namely here in the US, we may find an update to our auto update or refund policies or anything, any other issues they may find during the course of their investigation. The next big thing we have on the docket, one of my favorite pieces of news for the night, a leaked piece of information about some of my favorite services for the Xbox, Game Pass and Live. Now, there is news, well, more of a leak, really, by Twitter user H0X0D, a Microsoft leaker, who says that those two services, Game Pass, Microsoft Xbox, or Xbox Game Pass and Live Gold are going to be merged when the streaming Xbox launches. Well, it's rumored that that's when it will be released, but it's also the most likely point. Uh, 
this rumored service is likely to cost $15 per month. So that will give you access to Xbox Live Gold and games with or the Game Pass. Now each of those each of those services individually will run you ten dollars a month. So getting this combo will save you a, a few dollars. However, because that is simply the monthly price, and they may try to push this service in coming year in in the coming months, they may release three month packs or full year packs. If they do release a full month or a three month pack, chances are that one would run maybe on the order of 30, 30 to forty dollars, assuming that they do release one. And my best guess for something that assuming they actually do the year long pass, it I feel like the most appropriate price point would be something on the order of $100 to $150, somewhere in there. That way, you're, you're still getting savings, they're still getting your money, and you're getting your services. And then everybody's happy. Of course, those two packs are just up in the air created by me no real weight to them but that said as per the usual the link to the original article is going to be in the description so do keep a lookout for that next up next up we have some news about the xbox vr plans as i'm sure a few of you out there in youtube land have already found out the PlayStation VR is going into its third year of existence. That said, it's had three years plus to work on its kinks and holes and patch up the problems. And <clears throat> it's basically been using these last two, two years and change to use us, well, PlayStation VR users as beta testers unpaid beta testers to work out the kinks and all the games and stuff and I don't know about you but I've been enjoying that time but <clears throat> there is something that kind of comes to mind as I as I read this next one <clears throat> and that is how Microsoft is missing something there like I've, I've got a, I've got in my room I've got a PlayStation 4 I've got an Xbox One X and the Steam Machine and all of them hooked up same same TV not really seeing much of a difference but then again it's a 1080p so take it with a grain of salt say what you will blah 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 anyway there at this time there exists no peripheral or accessory that you could hook up to your one x that is licensed by microsoft yet however because of their current plans going forward to link windows 10 systems to the to their xbox line they may try to bring in their windows mixed reality systems into that realm of possibility so as i'm sure a couple of you have already seen my previous video that called back to their upcoming line um anaconda and lockhart i think their names were anaconda seems likely poised to be accepting of that windows peripheral but as far as that goes those were just rumored specifications so as far as whether or not the actual system is going to be capable of 
running any of those kinds of accessories that you normally would plug into a computer is up in the air. Now finally, I have one last story for you. And that is news about the Oculus Quest. And as the $399 standalone virtual reality headset with cameras on the headset itself. Now this one is going to use inside out tracking rather than, well, light based tracking such that you could expect from the PlayStation VR. Now, like I said, $399, completely standalone. Uh, the article states that this one tested on Beat Saber with a 0.03% flaw rate. So out, out of roughly 3,000 notes, there was one where it didn't actually meet the where it was considered more of the computer's fault rather than his. Does that make sense? Anyway, visuals, amazing. It actually seems more around mid-tier that we would expect. And something that, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm already, I'm, I'm already like, here, take my money. But, there were quite a few games listed in the in the launch setup. Uh, Beat Saber was one of them, and another one was let's see what it was. Well, one of them, for instance, was Super Hot VR. Let's see, couple. Well, I I can't access the list right now because my computer is being stupid, but. I'll give you that full list in the description down below. So, I guess this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible human being for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.